is FET201 computer system. So in this video we're going to be looking at hard drives. So a hard disk has a rotation speed of 5000 RPM or 5000 revolutions per minute and an average seek time of 20 milliseconds. The memory capacity per track of the hard disk is 15,000 bytes. So here we're looking for what is the average access time in milliseconds that is necessary for transferring one block when the block has 2,000 bytes of data. Is it 27.6, 29.2, 33.6 or 35.2? So let's look at how we calculate the average access time of a hard disk. So we can use the following formula. The average access time is equal to the average seek time plus the average rotational latency plus the data transfer time. The average seek time is 20 milliseconds. This disk rotates 5,000 times per one minute, so 60 seconds. So the time re required for one rotation is 60 divided by 5,000. We can see that the units here would work out. So this is equal to 0.012 seconds, i.e. this is equal to 12 milliseconds. The average rotational latency is a time required for half a rotation. And you can think of this as if you have a disk, like so, the longest time we'll have to wait for a data, a data points is if we have one full rotation. The shortest time we'll have to rate is if two data points are next to each other, so there would be no rotation almost. So we can average this out to about half a rotation of latency. So the average rotational latency is equal to our 12 milliseconds divided by 2, i.e. 6 milliseconds. The data transfer speed is the number of bytes transferred per millisecond. So for 15,000 bytes of a storage capacity of one track, taking 12 milliseconds to transfer, the data speed will be 15,000 divided by 12 bytes per millisecond. This is equal to 1,250 bytes per millisecond. So here, for our question, we had one block of 2,000 bytes of data, and the data transfer time will be our 2,000 bytes divided by our 1,250 bytes per millisecond, and this is equal to 1.6 milliseconds. Based on the above calculations, the average access time is going to be our average seek time plus our average rotational latency plus our data transfer time. So this is 20 plus 6 plus 1.6, which is equal to 27.6 milliseconds. So here our answer is A. And what we've done here is learn how to calculate the average access time for a regular hard disk.